I don't want to be here too late because that's how horror movies start, okay? Yes, I was terrified. I was like, what the hell? He's like, Bush. Bush man. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey loves, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another vlog. Been a moment since I've used that intro. We are back at the beach. If you saw last week's vlog, aka yesterday, you already know what happened. I'm just trying to boost my mood, you know? Sometimes things don't go your way. Things really went way left yesterday, so I figured by the water is where your girl needs to be to get some R&R &R and get me back to the energy level I need to be so I can enjoy my week. It's not as busy as it was yesterday, which is actually a good thing. Our city is so pretty. It's stressful when you're in it though. What a difference 24 hours will make. I feel a thousand times better compared to yesterday. My energy is not low. I don't have a migraine. I mean, I didn't find my shoe strap, but I wasn't going back to it for that. It's funny, Dave was like, did you come back to find your shoe strap? Because he knows I'm crazy. Whenever I lose something, it gets to me. I cannot be the only one, but I didn't even bother looking because there's no way I would find a nude strap for my sandal in the sand a day later. If I couldn't find it yesterday, there was no way today. Anyways, on the roster for the rest of the evening is three hours of editing at the very least. Oh, gotta get to work. Good morning, guys. I'm so exhausted. I've been up since 6.30 today. I went to the gym a little late. That's okay, because I still got plenty of time before my meeting. You gotta love it. When you're dressed for work on the top, but YouTube on the bottom. <laughs> I also made a smoothie, but my coffee's done at the same time, so that's gonna be interesting. Oh, Mondays. Mondays, Mondays, Mondays. What can I say? Literally nothing. I'll check in with you guys later today if anything interesting happens, which, to be honest, can't really say there's gonna be anything interesting today. I just feel like it's gonna be one of them days. It's overcast, it looks cold, so even after I'm done what I need to do, I don't even think I want to go outside to be honest. I probably will go for a walk later though because I need to get out of my bachelor. And this is pistachio coffee. It smells so heavenly. Look, I need to buy new sandals. Why am I buying sandals at the end of summer? So good. Yeah, and last night, I I was just filming on my iPhone because the image stabilization is actually better on here than it is on my digital camera and I figured I don't want it to be super wobbly while I'm talking to you. I'm just doing a little evening walk since it says 2 hours and 38 minutes for my video to render. So while my computer sounds like it's going to blow up at home, I might as well get a little bit of nature in. Although I feel like I'm getting bitten already. But look at this. I don't want to be here too late because that's how horror movies start, okay? But yeah, I'm just going to do a little evening walk, clear my mind, get a little footage. How low should I go? Because this thing goes all the way to the brickworks, though. Do I want to go down there or there? Let's go down. Hello, danger. Perfect timing, I just wrapped up Angie Martinez's latest interview with someone I never knew, but I'm definitely gonna check out their social because I wanna know them more. I, how do I even begin about this walk? I wasn't there for that long. Honestly, guys, 10 minutes tops. I started walking down one way and you saw those steps weren't stepping and I said, I'm not, we're not doing this. I went back up and then I started walking the other route and I was looking at the sun and it was so pretty, but the eerie, creepy vibe started to come in. And I said, this is discernment. If the gut says no, it's a no-go. So I took 10 steps back and went back home. And considering, <laughs> considering how far I went, 
because I've been gone for more than an hour. It's kind of funny, but when the vibe is off, you can't risk it. It just, I was having thoughts like, wait, there are coyotes in my neighborhood now, aren't they? Some of my friends who live in the neighborhood have said they've seen them while walking their dogs. I ain't got no dog to ward off a coyote. I don't know if a coyote is going to try to snatch me up real quick. And besides that, I was also thinking, I just had this... Do you know when you have that looming feeling like someone is around but you can't see them? I mean, that's me every day. <laughs> but I mean, really, I had that feeling and I was like, that's weird. Cause I can usually sense when someone is around me and I didn't hear anyone, but I just said, you know what? The sun is setting. It's probably not wise. You know, I'm not on my Simba tip that ha ha ha, I laugh in the fear danger. No, 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 I proceed with caution. And usually I'm not fearful. There's a lot of things I do that looking back, I'm like, as a legally blind person, was I really smart? Maybe not. Like rollerblading on Lakeshore, that's hella dangerous. That time I almost ran over the granny. But then I was thinking, I never had this feeling. And there's so much to be said about when you feel things. I might even talk about it in tonight's podcast. So I just said, you know what? Just take yourself and your podcast up out of here. A little oil. <laughs> last week. Okay, so I was editing the video from last week. And I was complaining about something not boiling, but I turned on the wrong burner. Like, who am I? <laughs> oh my gosh. This one is so painful. a jam-packed day. I want to swim for a bit. Maybe not right now because the sun is not heating up the pool yet. But then after, in the afternoon, I'm going to meet up with Evie again and we're going to go back to pole class. So much fun. Why am I doing my mat like this? Why am I so weird? gosh definitely not walking on that side do you see this why did the birds all decide to chill there though i'm not sure if you can hear me because i'm using my iphone but we're back at pole class and i thought i was the first here but of course ify <laughs> I'm looking for a Brita filter. Would it be in this aisle? I'm so confused. No, this is like sporting goods or blenders or something. I don't know. I guessed right. Perfect. Now I just need to find the right one. Bingo! Go to the back to the back just in case. It. Hey, honey, honey, I'm back. Let me turn on the light because the sun is setting a little earlier every day. The sign of the time. Since you guys said you like my little grocery hauls this week, as you've seen, I got a Brita. And then I also stopped off. I was trying to be responsible, okay? Because really, what I wanted to do was go home because I'm tired. But I said, it's one stop away and it's on the way. Let me just go and grab a couple things. Chow mein noodles. I'm obsessed with the Guyanese chow mein. It's so spicy and so good. I needed more. So I've been using a lot in my guac. Then I also got mushrooms. I'm so grateful that past Alicia bought a package of mushrooms. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to make my dinner last night. It was in the very back of the fridge because I didn't get it the last time I went shopping. 
I need some more garlic for the vampires. Who came up with these things? When you look up superstitions, the story and plot line behind is so creepy sometimes. You should try it. And I got some more clementines. Because they're the perfect snack to have when you're on the go. You just literally pop it in your mouth. Instant hydration, vitamin C, all that good, good. And then I got some chicken thighs. Guys, I need to show you this. Because life did not just get expensive. I know it's funny. Even now we're talking about Toronto versus Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton and Montreal. Because Vancouver is the only place out of those five that I listed that's more expensive than here. Everything is expensive in Toronto. Tell me where you live. How much would this cost? For those of you who can't see, I zoomed in. It's $14 for some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm sure it'd be a little cheaper if they had the skin on and the bone in, but they didn't have that option. Plus, I don't even like doing that, so this makes it easier for me to wash and put away. Whew. Can't start the morning without a little clean-in. Morning, loves. Hope you're all well. Workout session complete. Shower complete. Let's switch this Brita, Brita thingy. Can't be that hard, right? Bought this, it'd be economical, good for the environment, because we'd be putting a little filter inside. I didn't realize I'd have to be replacing the whole dang thing. That's not good for the environment. But yo, the water really does taste different. Line it up, pop it in, and bing! So how do I know? Like, the light's not on though. Happy it's 30 degrees. I have to go and get some more oat milk, almond milk. Banana, lime in the coconut. I was up late last night, which is why it was so hard to get up today. Watching part one and two of that Woodstock doc on Netflix. Have you seen it? It's crazy. Your parents, because I know my mom wasn't there. My dad wasn't there. Your parents are crazy for a while and not like that at 69 and 99. No, sir. Did you think back to the 90s and 1999, everyone thought Y2K, the world's gonna end. Computers aren't gonna know how to count things. Like, where were we? Why did we think like that? Very Here's my battery. Here you are. <laughs> Afternoon, loves. Just finished filming a video. I had to use my backup battery source. Since my battery was dead as soon as I turned it on, I forgot. Whoops. <sighs> I thought I was going to see my uncle today because he leaves in three days. But he was saying something about the, the vie, the vie? <laughs> severe thunderstorm. Hopefully I can see him tomorrow. I just want to see him before he leaves. <sighs> I guess the most sunlight I'm going to get today is on my balcony. Maybe, let me just swiffer outside and enjoy the sun for a bit from there. I keep hearing... It sounds like thunder, but it might just be the dumpsters being moved to the back. I could be completely wrong about that. Ugh. Balcony clean. That definitely sounds like thunder to me, though. Mother Nature is on some next level ish. By my house, it's sunny, it's beautiful. Forecast says no rain. Why is it I get out of the subway, I look up and all I see are clouds? Billowing warning clouds. I checked the weather network. The app says 40% rain. Why did I come all the way down here? I'm giving myself two minutes. That's how long I'm waiting and then I'm gonna go back home because I'm wearing a cream light colored dress and we're not about to do that. Wow, I am not having good luck with shoes this month. Are you seeing this? Oh no, 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 no. It was good. Good conversation, good food. Never had an Indian roti before. It's very different from the Caribbean ones that I'm used to. It was heavy. I just hit hard. I passed out on the train. Good thing I woke up in time to get off at my stop. It was really good. It was basically butter chicken wrapped up. I'm not mad at that.
I still think I prefer the Caribbean one. I'm gonna go shower real quick because I am exhausted and now my foot is stinging. I can't believe I mashed up another pair of shoes. What is with the summer? See you guys in the morning. It's the first thing that goes in old age, you know that? I'm so late checking in with you guys today. I just really wanted to soak up the time and be present. My uncle's going back and he won't be back for a year. That's what he says, but the last time he said that he was gone for seven years. So I was just really taking in the moment. I just wanted to show you. We went to the park and then we're sitting on the balcony and it was just beautiful until it started raining and then I ran out and got some groceries. Bananas, of course. What's new? I got some cashews and then a couple other things, but it's just such a small grocery haul. We'll skip that. Ever so grateful that Jeff got me this. I make all my Caribbean dishes in this Dutch pot. So tonight we're going to make stewed chicken since I marinated it yesterday. I thought I would be back in time to eat it, but the roti was better anyway. So take off the little stoppers. Never ever putting a full scotch bonnet with four pieces of chicken. I thought that would be way more than enough to dilute it, but I was crying while eating. It was good, plus way too much browning sauce. But you saw that overspill the other day when I was marinating. So anyway, you see some packages in front of me. I needed to re-up on David's tea. The saddest thing is they dropped four new matchas and I was waiting for the sale. I think I told you guys this in the last vlog or the vlog before. Either way, whichever the way the story goes, all I do know is I was waiting for a sale and then I realized the matches were selling out real quick and they weren't restocking. So I asked them because they have a little chat bot that really tries to chat with you and I'm not about that. I always want to chat with a human being. So once I got past the chat box, which took a lot longer than I needed to, I got through to a real human who told me it was limited edition. So he's like, go ahead and order the other two which I did, so I don't know what these say because your girl's blind and it's too dark for this. But this should be salted caramel oolong. Oolong? Is that what it's called? One of these is berries and cream matcha. The other one is vanilla for my friend Jeff because he was talking about it two weeks ago. So when I placed this order first week of August, it's been downstairs for a week. I didn't even realize it arrived. This one should be green apple, I think. I think it's every $100 you spent, you get 50 grams free. So you know I'm going to pick the expensive tea. And Grand Cru is the second highest grade of matcha they have. The ceremonial matcha, I put that in my cart, cannot be applied. You see how slick they are with it? $35 for 50 grams. I'm never paying for that. Let me tell you that much. And then, you know, I'm an aloe girl. Air, land, ocean. If you didn't know, that's what it stands for. I got the app. I need to email them because I saw on Instagram that they're doing an unlimited 50% off when you sign up. I've had the Alamoves app for two years. I think I should get 50% off forever since I was one of the early adapters to that ish. But anyways, I promised myself not to buy another set until they opened the flagship store here in the six. Sucker for purple. You already know this year I got a purple set from Woman's Best. It's I. That logo's a little too big for me because you know I'm not a logo head. Don't care how cheap or how luxury an item is, I'm not a walking advertisement. I like logos very subtle. I like people to look back and be like, what is that? And then I can say, it's, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like a lower key brand. It's Zara or it's Prada, like whatever it is, it should be good because it's good, not because it costs a lot of extra coins. Ooh. Okay, so sucker for biker shorts. Plus I'm finding that I'm wearing the same ones that got ruined last September, at least twice a week. I love Aritzia, but I'm sorry, their athleisure is not it. I'm just putting out that, I'm just putting it out there. The athleisure is real mess because it discolors, 
This seems, we're seemingly to come undone in several places. I mean, I'm gonna give them credit because my stepdad thought it was a good idea to wash my apricot colored biker short set with blacks. Where they do that at? You can tell that even though it's ribbed, it won't pill. Sometimes rib things, <clears throat> skims like this dress, pill a lot. It's almost like counterintuitive to buy something ribbed because it's gonna look rough and just not a good vibe. So I got this and then there's a whole story behind it, you guys don't care. But I'm gonna have to reorder the top because clearly it's not here. But I'm gonna see how it fits first because if it ain't fit right, I'm sending it back to the streets. The thing about Allo is they include the duties, taxes and exchange rate when you're looking online. So them prices are high, but at least you don't get a surprise. A lot of times when I'm ordering internationally, Australia, Europe, even the States, they put the price in US dollars and then I have to do the conversion in my head. And more often than not, sometimes it's the wrong <laughs> conversion rate. So then I'm like, wait, why is there an extra decimal point on this product? I didn't realize how expensive this was until I had hit checkout. Good morning, love. It's that time of month again, laundry day. How does one person who's home most of the time make this much laundry? I don't even know. I feel like I can make as much as when I was going to the office every single day. Weird. Anyway, got to my wipes. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Because some of these are so gross. September comes, which will be here in five minutes at this rate. <sighs> I'm gonna make a matcha right after this. Make the bed first, because that's what we do. I hope I don't lose any socks this time. I feel like that's like my regular thing. Anytime you put on cocoa butter or shea butter, it stains the sheets. And I've looked up hacks to get rid of it, it doesn't work. Those washing machines are a serious sock monster. Let me just throw this off. Fridge woke me up every hour on the hour. So I didn't really sleep that well. I woke up at six and I was just lying in bed like, I don't wanna get up yet. Gosh, I just got off the phone with my good grandma. I don't wanna cry. There's just a few things she said. This made me really emotional. No tears, what's wrong with me today? It's already a gloomy day. I love how we went out to the pool. It was cloudy. It wasn't before we went, but as soon as we went out, it was cloudy. Then it started to rain. Then it stopped raining, and it was sunny enough for me to film a video, which I have to take down the setup after I finish prepping for dinner. Then I was like, okay, I'll maybe we'll do some last minute plans. Then it says it's gonna be severe raining, heavy rain for the next hour. So I'm like, forget that. You know what? I got groceries in my fridge. Let me just use these veggies real quick. The zucchini's looking like it's on its last leg anyway. Is my AstroTurf coming off? <gasps> oh, guys, are you seeing this? That's mad gross, though. Okay. The reason why it lifted is because this used to be under. When I'm making Guyanese chow mein, do I put broccoli in there? I know I put the two different types of pepper. What are we gonna do? I still haven't decided what's wrong with me. being cracked, straps missing, heels falling off. What happened to me this summer? Ooh, these are really nice. I mean, I did pick them, right? 
So it's got the zipper in the back, so no straps are gonna be harmed during the wearing of Snug, and I have space. My toes aren't coming over like a gargoyle, so we're okay. And it's got a little squishy squish, so it's comfy, okay. Perfect timing, because I'm going to the beach tomorrow morning, and I ain't got nothing to put on my feet, and I cannot wear sneakers to the beach, that's a no-no. The only thing is, I don't like wearing shoes for the first time all day long, because you don't know how they're gonna fit. I can't really see if these look good on my feet. Like I can tell they're there, but I can't tell how they look. Whenever I go into the store to try on shoes, and, oh, it looks good. They're probably just trying to make a sale, but I can't even confirm if they're telling the truth because I can't see until I take a picture and zoom in. It's so trippy to me to know that five years ago I could see my toes and I can't from here anymore. Even when I'm doing yoga, a lot of times I focus on what it feels like for my fingertips to be on the mat and my fingers to be spread out. And the fact that I can't see my nails well enough to paint them anymore. It's very trippy to live in your own body and to have sight slip away a little bit every day to the point where you're like, I need to really appreciate what I have now because tomorrow is not guaranteed in more ways than one. Enough philosophical stuff for one evening. I'm going to get back to editing. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm going to pack tonight because that's the mistake I made last week. I'm definitely packing, so all I gotta do when I wake up is the gym stuff. And it's another beach day, because it's my friend's birthday. They're already out getting a coffee, and I'm gonna meet them right here. And then we're gonna head on the ferry. Ding, the Hola. Like, 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 your saxophone. Yeah, my saxophone. <laughs> uh, but it took me a little while to figure out what I want to do in life, and I really can't pinpoint it. I really couldn't care less. But as long as I'm making other people happy and helping them out, and just making people better people, I'm a good person. So let's have a cheers to making good people better people. Life, love, and fuckery. Fuckery! 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 Fuck